hello to the reigning world champion and two-time Grand Prairie champion from Hoadley, Alberta. We call him the Hoadley Hornet. Challenges from the outside with Dynamic and Aubrey Mata-Willow at the wire. And Aubrey Mata-Willow and Kurt Bensmiller side by each to the outside with almost dead heat. Hampton Ford with Chris Molly and Aubrey Mata-Willow and Kurt Bensmiller. Well, so Grand Prairie started uh, not the way I really wanted, night number one. I threw Hugo, my right leader, to the left lead because I had a couple sick horses. And uh, didn't quite work the way I wanted. I had a brand new horse in the right lead. We're turned around for the real run after the practice turn. Hugo throws his head over the young horse's neck and kind of drove him to the rails. So I got late to the barrels, which I knew was deserving of. I was late to the barrels. And, but they come out about five lengths behind and, and gained five lengths. So I was right there at the finish line with everybody. So as for run time, it was good. Night number two, uh, yeah, I kind of you know, had a little bit of interference in our heat there and didn't quite have the run I wanted, but the horse is still running really strong. Night number three, um, barrel three, what are I thinking? Yeah, I had a really good run. Horses ran, ran good, barrel good. Night number four, ready to be in the dash, and uh, it was probably my driver error, and nothing really started. And when I checked that lead team to start folding, my wheel team usually really gasses on her, and, and they just didn't. They just were kind of dead, so they kind of flopped over, and I took my top barrel. And then other than that, uh, the last day, Everything went really good. I took my short barrel left leader because I've been short of left leader. I've got a few sick ones and threw them with Hugo on the right lead and uh, come come out of the barrel smoking off of one and had a real nice run um, in the heavy rail and placed fourth in the night. Well, for this Bonneville show, I brought 18 thoroughbreds. Uh, we've got a couple I left at home. Um, we've got 14 driving horses and four outriding horses here. Well, kind of four and a half outriding horses. One goes both ways. Um, yeah, so I, I'm thinking I got the right horses I need here. I got one one of my left leaders that hasn't been feeling that well and driving that well. We uh, we drove him this morning and blew him out and, and looks like he's ready. So Hugo can stay in the right lead and he'll have his partner back. And so I should have two solid hooks. Uh, Hugo is just a, a horse I, I bought her at Lethbridge, I forget, probably five years ago or so. He's a 10 year old now. Um, didn't pay a whole lot for him, $1,500 horse. Uh, didn't do a whole lot at the racetrack. His name is Hugo too slow if you can imagine, <laughs> but he's he's fast. He's a he's a real good horse. Uh, drove him a few nights, a uh, few couple, a uh, few years on the wheel, and you can just tell he just wanted to get up in the front. He's trying to always pass my lead team, so he's been my right leader the last few years. And uh, yeah, he's just kind of a you know a horse you can rely on that throws you a huge run and, and start and, and everything you need. Well the four I had hooked this morning uh, Hugo got his old partner back lefty. He hasn't been feeling that well and we drove him a couple times in the morning in, in uh, Grand Prairie and he just didn't want to drive. He was like hot and, and uh, not cooperating. He is a hot horse. He does get better in a real race. This morning he was kind of shaking his head again on the left lead but when the horn went they were they were dynamite. They, they left town in one heck of a hurry. He ran really strong. Uh, as for the wheel team, uh, I've got uh, two new ones around this morning. Pan on my right wheel and Chili for the first time I've ever thrown him on the left wheel. He's a horse I got off of Chad Fike. We did some trading last year and um, you know they worked they worked really well. And as for Hayden, uh, you know my youngest son, the, the last year's world champion outrider, he's, uh, he's hurting a little bit right now. He's got shin splints really bad so in the morning he barely rides any horses. All the drivers understand you know. Um, he just takes a couple of Advil at night and, and he gets a job done, grits his teeth and gets a job done, but he can, he can barely walk. He's been wrapping his leg and trying all kinds of treatment and stuff. It's Nothing seems to be working, uh, but he's tough, he'll get through it. We believe it's caused by just talking to people, just in the, the not even the spring jumping motions, it's jumping off the horses is what is what we were told, is what more irritates it. It's not right on the front of his shin, it's on the side of it, so it's... Uh, yeah, he, he's pretty ouchy, and, and uh, like you said, we've tried everything. Nothing seems to be working, so hopefully the doctors can, can help him out. Well, as her goal for Bonneville, I'd like to have a better show than I had in Grand Prairie. If I could stay clean, I think, I, I think I've got the horsepower to you know to place fairly high, and, and it'd be nice if I could make it into the dash, I guess. So it's kind of my goal, but it's probably everybody else's too. So clean, run clean and fast and see what happens.